Can machines think? That's a terrible question. A better question is, can they pass my test? Okay, so what's your test? In the imitation game, you would interact with a human and a machine by text conversation only. They are both trying to convince you that they are human. If you cannot tell them apart, the machine has passed the test. Oh, I see. Well, in 2014, a conversational AI named Eugene Gooseman seemed to have passed your test about 30% of the time. I don't think a machine can truly think until it can write a sonnet and truly feel its significance. Okay, wait, hold on. I think we need to define what thinking is first because you guys are disagreeing on what it is. Hattori, you think that thinking is feeling and Turi, you think that thinking is language. So what is thinking and can machines do it? I believe that thought like sensation is a matter of making judgments. There is an active intellect which forms concepts and a passive intellect which stores information. Let me get this straight. You think that thinking is the ability to store information, which, hey, machines are really good at now, like way better than humans. And it's also that forming concept, which is, yeah, much trickier, but it seems like unsupervised neural nets are getting to be reasonably good at this. So is that thinking then? And are machines doing it? No, I don't think so. You see, the machine isn't the one doing the thinking. The programmer is doing the thinking. Okay, so some machines, like neural networks, have programmers input information into them. However, they don't take that information from a bunch of decisions and processes and then spit out a response. The programmer has literally no idea how they came to that decision or what those processes were that they did. So, is this really the programmer thinking then, or can we arguably say that this is machines and they are thinking? I think that thought requires sensation, imagination, and language. So some machines definitely have sensation. They have touch, vision, hearing, etc. So that one's ticked off. Um, language machines definitely have. I mean, you can talk to your phone now and ask it to do something for you and it will talk back. Now, imagination is trickier, but I think at the core of imagination and creativity is the ability to create something new from the combination of things that already exist. And if that's the case, well, then machines can certainly do that. I mean, the background music of this whole video was designed by an AI. And this backdrop that you're looking at, this is also designed by an AI. Here, ready? Watch this. Well, actually, we kind of think the human brain would be better understood as if it were a computer. I thought we were trying to figure out if machines have human-like thinking, not whether humans have machine-like thinking. Well, you didn't specify human-like thinking, you just asked, can machines think? If you want to know if machines have human-like thinking, we have to know how humans think first, and we don't know that yet. I thought this was going to be a simple question to answer. Well, maybe the goal isn't to answer conclusively from all angles. Instead, what we can do is look at all of the things that we generally agree are thinking and see if machines can do those. Okay, I'm with you. Let's go. Strategy game. Yes, and definitely better than humans. Pattern recognition. Yes, better than humans, especially the big data. Decision making. Yes, sometimes better than humans, sometimes worse. It's pretty balanced. Creativity. Yeah, in a narrow way, but probably not as good as humans still. Reasoning. Mm, only some types. I think humans might get this one. Concept formation. Yeah, sort of. At the moment, they can't explain it to us, so humans get that one at the moment. Language. To some extent, that um, humans are still better at that one. Memory. Ah, uh, yeah. Far better than humans. Common sense. No, you can't just drop any old machine into a complex environment and expect it to just figure it out. Feeling. Yeah. Um, most people say no right now. Conscious experience. This is also still currently no, so humans get that one too. You see, machines can think in some ways, but not in others. And we don't yet have a machine that actually embodies all of these capacities that they have in one single entity. But what we can say is that machines show markers of thinking. I see. So the question is, can machines think exactly like humans? Because the answer to that would be probably not. But that's not the goal, is it? I mean, if machines thought exactly like humans, they would be significantly worse at a lot of the things that they're great at now, just in order to gain some of the things that they don't have. And I don't know about you, but I'd really rather not give up things like Google Maps and the ability to store copious amounts of information and photos. So, I mean, I guess the answer is yes. Machines can think. It just depends how you define the question.